add a circle. Bring down the verticals number to get a low poly circle. Go to edit mode, select them all and scale it down. Now add an empty plane axis, then rotate it 90 degrees on a Z axis. Select the circle and add a ray modifier. Turn off relative offset and turn on object offset. Then add the plane axis as the object. In the edit mode, move the circle to the X or Y axis till it just touch the other circle. Now increase the count number to 4. When you did that, add a screw modifier and increase the screw height. In the edit mode, rotate the circle 45 degrees in X or Y axis till it looks like this. Then apply the ray modifier. Go to viewport overlays and turn on face orientation. If it's red, just simply go to normals and flip it. Now add a busier curve. Select the circle and the empty axis and select the busier curve at the end. Then Ctrl P to parent. Now add curve modifier to the rope. Then select the curve as the curve object and make sure you put it on Z axis. Now you can select the curve and shape it as you like. Now select the rope and increase the iteration to fill out the whole curve. You can also mess around with the screw number to get what you like. Now go ahead and download the rope material. This one is pretty nice. Then add it to the rope like this. You can add more details by adding hair particles and particles properties. But make sure you turn on use modifier stack. Now there you go. We have a beautiful rope. Now you can go ahead and make cute things with it. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey.